Cougars back at it today under Coach Kevin Donnelly. Now in his 15th year at St. Francis with 140 victories at USF. Freshman and looks low snap, hands the ball off. A little curl play up the middle. That's Edward Burns. Burns stacked up. He may not have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. St. Francis jumped out to the 14-0 lead. Here's a misdirection play, and now, and that's Washington. And boy, he looked like he went to lateral that ball, and that was going to be problems. 19 on the play clock. Takes the snap, looks left, throws left. There's the screen set up here to the 40, 35. And wrestled down from behind, but he reaches inside the 25-yard line. Then tight to the left side. Motion by Campbell, takes the pitch. Cuts at the 15, up to the 10. Still on his feet, down inside the 5 to the 4-yard line goes Antoine Campbell. And once again, motion right to left. They'll hand the ball on a sweep. And trying to find some running room is Austin Coleman, and he reaches for the goal line. He got in for a touchdown. Three yards Austin officially. A little bit of an angle from right to left. Kick is long enough. Got a chance on the way, and it is good. 32-yard field goal by Emerson Eber at the 222 mark. Cougars add three to their total. They lead it 23 to three with a timeout. But the good news is he was able to get off the field under his own power. Here is Washington, the quarterback draw steps out of a tackle, runs to the 35, trying to come wide to the right left, and then is wrapped up and dropped with some authority. He'll pick up about two, maybe two and a half yards on that scramble run again. Second down and 10, and Lee again, the option run to the left side, and trying to reverse, comes back to the right. Jake Allen has got him wrapped up, and this time he did not let him go. For a sack back inside the, they're really gonna mark him what, down at the 25? He's got a trip package wide to the left side. Once the throw, he's scrambling and wrapped up and dropped again. The Cougars have got him for a sack. Is fighting through a block and making a great play that time defensively. And I think it was Zach Bruce, wasn't it? He's a freshman. Powerful another, run. Another fr another first down, and here is Aaron Washington trying to run to his rights, sweeping out there, and he pays a price as he's hit hard behind him second down and seven option run to the right pitches the ball Demetrius Road shed, sheds a tackle and then the Cougars converge on him and a couple players including Taylor Brown that closed and, and did come up and make the play and it's a tackle for loss little motion from left to right behind the line of scrimmage Washington takes a low snap in the end zone is hit ball is loose I think and uh, the Cougars let's see how they're gonna rule this well it's gonna be at least two points Joe for USF and then of course a change of possession and it is US a safety Dave Yoder that's come in now at quarterback 6-3 junior and he sets up winning an option run pitch of the ball to the right and that's taken by and it's Antoine Campbell behind the defense inside the 35 to the 25 to the 15 10 5 and a touchdown for Antoine Campbell his third rushing touchdown of the Antoine afternoon Campbell 72 yards Joe pitch. and just a little option pitch and we almost saw that play touchdown. take off earlier in the game but uh, Campbell got caught this time nobody was catching him he got outside the contain on the play Texas College misfired going after their quarterback, which we had seen successfully work for them before, but this time Campbell was outside of it. The pitch got through. Campbell was off to the races. The wireless gods are with us here is a play action fake and a roll and a pitch now by Aaron Washington. They get very little out of the game. It's only up to the 25, but Steers do play uh, some tough schools on their line, on their schedule. Here's the rush is on Washington. He's in the end zone. They wrap him up, and that should be another safety. 
If he held on to the ball, it might be in the touchdown if he didn't. Well, it's good news no matter what for USF. Once again, this is a... It's a touchdown. Deja vu all over again. Another tackle in the in the end zone. and uh, But this time, USF gets uh, the tackle in the end zone that ends up at six points. So the defense really touchdown. into the act today, Cougar. Joe, with, a, with a two tackles in the end zone. I thought we were going to have an all-time record, and that would have been two safeties in one game. I don't think that's ever... We're under center now. Second down and nine, and here's a give to Matthewson, and he'll run into the end zone. Just uh, took a shot, but lowered the shoulder, and runs 11 yards, nine yards. David Yoder from keeps that, it Well, himself. officially, it'll be a 10-yard run for Cougar. the touchdown at the 211 mark. St. Francis play action fake. Here's Washington spun around and stays on his feet, then wrapped up and still goes down back inside the 30 around the 27 yard line is where they'll spot the forward progress. Cougars coming. The Bush was the there, play, but he had a lot of help. Cody Calball was. They're going to stay in that shotgun formation with Aaron Washington back there, flanked by two uh, receivers, uh, two protectors, and here's a run to the right side, directing traffic. Devin Lee, and he's going to run out of real estate here. Oh, come on. Two wide either side of the field. Miller loads up, throws to a spot, and he's got a catch. He's gone. That's Austin Coleman. They won't catch him today. And it'll be a touchdown toss at the 929 mark. And there's a flag in the middle of the field, Joe. Uh, a flag was thrown way behind the play, and I have no idea. There were two, perhaps uh, one of the USF receivers and uh, defenders.